integrate 1 over square root of 9 plus 8x minus x squared. Okay, so yeah, I'm factoring out a negative out because I want to make this positive x squared, so it's x squared uh, minus 8x minus 9. Okay, now to make a perfect square, uh, do the half of 8, which is 4, negative 4, and squared is 16. So adding 16 and taking away 16, this becomes a perfect square, and this is also a perfect square. So this is nothing but, uh, this step is very clear. Okay, so this is a perfect square of x minus 4, the whole squared minus 5 squared. Okay, now I want to remove this negative. So I swap this over so that is nothing but 25 minus x minus 4 the whole square. So the negative will be cancelled. Okay, so this is, and I want to make this 1. So I'm dividing this by 25 and this by 25. Now as it is inside the radical, if I factor out 1 over 25, it will be 1 over 5. Now in the denominator when it's 1 over 5, it becomes 5 and you got this 1 fifth sitting here to cancel what I have done here. Okay, I hope this step is clear. This is one of the most important step. This is 1 minus x minus 4 over 5 the whole square. Now I can do a trick substitution because this is similar to the identity 1 minus sine squared is cos squared or 1 minus cos squared is sine squared. So I'm doing a trick substitution of this inside the bracket x minus 4 over 5 s sine alpha so it's if alpha if you make alpha the subject that is sine inverse of x minus 4 over 5 and if you make x the subject it is 5 sine alpha plus 4 and differentiating both side with respect to alpha or differentiating with respect to alpha uh, the derivative of sine is cos uh, and when you write with respect to dx, or uh, multiplying both sides by d alpha, is 5 cos alpha d alpha. So now this whole thing, in place of this dx, I can write 5 cos alpha sine d alpha. And in place of this, I'm going to write sine alpha. So this, I have rewritten this whole thing again, so that you can see my substitution. So this is 1 over 5th, or 1 5th times 1 over, 1 minus sine squared alpha times dx is 5 cos alpha d alpha. And uh, this is cos squared. Uh, this phi I factored out, which is phi over phi, which gets cancelled. And uh, square root of uh, cos squared is cos. So this cos alpha and cos alpha gets cancelled. And so that is nothing but integration of 1 d alpha integration of 1 d alpha is alpha plus c and alpha we have already seen is sine inverse of x minus 4 over 5 so this is your answer